in here, and we might have story time with letters at a later point. Eventually, with all of this handwriting stuff, I will want to type it out and transcribe it, so it's much easier to read. At least write it in my descriptions of stuff. Um, oh boy! You got many pages of writing and a card with so much writing on it! Oh my! From Julia and family. That has, so they had lots to say. So much to say. And people will think, oh wow, you wrote two pages in your Christmas letter? Like, um, have you seen old letters that, like, tell people about stuff? It's crazy. Um, Mr. and Mrs. John Crack, 1978. It's roses. It's roses. And there's a little bit of a letter in there, so we're keeping that. And it's gonna go in my pile over here. My pile over here. Happy birthday, a little eight. A turtle seldom wins the race. That's a cute card. Is it anything in it? I wonder it's from Vera. And then there's me. I come in last. I hope your birthday was happy. I thought I was going to be like, have a... Not, what? Oh. It's a birthday card book. So, happy birthday, little late. A turtle seldom wins the race. And then it says, a snail has an even slower pace. A worm sure isn't very fast. I would definitely want to call her this. Um, and then there's me. I come in last. And it's like warped or something because it doesn't quite properly fit. It's an empty card. It's going to go into that family box. And when it wants it, or I might sell some of these unused cards. We'll see. And then you guys can have your all the vintage cards you want, and you can still continue to support me. What is beautiful is joy for all, a season for a possession of all eternity. Um, empty. Empty. But that was from Oscar Wilde, I guess. But these are going to go in that family box. Maybe potential things I might sell if family, excuse me, other family members don't want it. This is another letter, putting that to the side. Quality in. So it looks like there's a letter in here. Who's writing from the quality in? So much. Quality in. Dearest mom and dad and brothers. Violet. Violet was writing from the quality in. I'm gonna put that in here. In Oklahoma. What was Violet doing in Oklahoma. Violet. Um, Joseph and the shop. Oh, it's a Mother's Day card with a letter, so we're keeping that. Plopping it in this pile. Plopping it over here. Uh, we have the McTories again. Let's see if they wrote anything in it. Uh, that's cute. And I wrote another letter, of course. So we're plopping that back in. Closing it back up and plopping it on my family history. Let's see. And we got a card. Oh my. Oh my. This card letter has this. The back. And then they wrote the PS on the front. So much writing. Put that back in. Let's see later. Flop it to the side. This just says mom. Wonder who it's from. God bless you on Mother's Day. It is a book. Of poems. And then it has a little thing in the back. So we're keeping that. Don't know when it was from. 
1949, 1950. But who knows? We don't know much about that one. Well, that's gonna go back in this envelope. Actually, I don't need to keep the envelope. The envelope has no date, so this is just gonna go in a pile. Let's see. What is this? This is Valley City Clinic. Uh, I think it's another Valley City, Valley City Clinic. Valley City Clinic. Off to the side. And we got a card, a nativity scene, um, with nothing in it. So it's gonna go in that family box. Flop it down. Um, Medora, someone went to Medora, so that's a program, so I'm gonna put that in a program pile. Programs! And what's this? This is a Fragile life insurance and casualty pump key. But there's nothing on it, so I'm just gonna say that's garbage. Toss it away. Now for this file. Um, now let's take off this doodad on it. This cotton. I like this. Do this. Cotton ties. I think I can untie it. I have so much. So much. There's so much in there. Bloop! And then in the trash. I can untie it. Go. Let's see. Um, Alfred Thumb and the Boys. It's a little prayer card. Um. It has writing in it, so we're keeping it over here. I think after this pile, I'm going to kind of clean stuff up. It's been a good amount of time, maybe. We got through a decent chunk of stuff. Maybe we'll see. Well, I don't know. I think stuff was stored in a tissue box. In here, we need this one year guarantee operating a can, oh, a can opener, knife, and scissors sharpener. That's trash. Let's see what else we got. We can, I guess I suppose we can keep going. Um, on your anniversary, mother and dad, and there's a card, and it's from. Alice, Richard, Ellen, and Anna. Sorry, I'm late. And there's another letter. I like, I have found out, I enjoy reading so many letters from my grandma. I, I definitely feel a lot closer to her reading them, so I can't wait when I get to digitize and start, like, looking at the metadata in these and reading all of the cards from my mom, my grandma. This is a letter from Violet, I think. Yep. Uh, she was in Nevada. Oh, she was in Las Vegas. She was going everywhere, I guess. So that's a letter from my grandma. Or from Violet, not my grandma. My back, my grandma's sister. Uh, this looks like another letter from Anna. Not my mom. Empty envelope. Or the trash. And then we have another letter. We have a card. Is there anything in it? Um, Russell and Addie. Oh, I'm gonna put that in the family box because there's not much of important things to it. Another letter. Um, what is this one? It is green. It's a bird. That's just a letter. So I'm going to put that back in and plop it to the side. Um, Anna wrote another letter and this one's blue. Oh, it's this person again. 
They did the red and the green. And there's a card in it. So we keep it. We keep it in here. All night. Swap it in. Uh, this feels like an empty envelope. It does. It might be part of this one. Bob Crack. I think it is. Because it's Washington. So I'm going to put this one back in here. Context clues. So we have that date. So um, the date is important. Rechtenberg. The card. It's a letter. Flopping it to the side. Let's see what else we have. Leonard Berg. Um, unanswered picture inside. Interesting. Oh, wow, they are a lot of pictures. I think it's a... Oh, there's a letter. So much is happening here. Um, that's going to go back in. That's interesting. Well, no age there. That there's an answer, and there's a picture inside. Very interesting. Uh, Louise Carlson. More old sparklies and glitter. And a letter in the inside. Plop that back in. Put it here. Mothers on Valentine's Day. Violet. Nothing super special going into that box. Um, Alfred Thumb. Crack. I'm a boy! Who was born? Jonathan Harold. Jim and your niece, Crack. Born August 25th. 25th. Cute. Keeping that. Keeping that. Plopping it to the side. Oh, here's another Deshaw letter. With an envelope on the inside. Senior class. Um. My gosh. It has some uh, pictures in it. We're keeping that one. It's an invitation. At least an announcement that she graduated from school, high school. Plop it in. Plop it in. I, my mom says that my grand, that in my grandpa's house they found like return correspondence. So that's gonna be really exciting. Mother's Day blessing for you. And there's a really long letter in it. Who, who is this from? Vera. Vera, of course. Plopping it in here. I don't have to stop because I'm getting hungry. So after this pile, I'm probably going to put stuff away. Because um, that's going to probably take some more seasons reading. That's cute. Other than, I feel like it's... Well, there's... Oh my. Oh my. Oh. Oh. There's a calendar. And then, writing. Interesting. Um, there's going to be a little bit more work. Look at this pile of family correspondence. So much. So much. Uh, this is the Deshaws again. And there's writing in it. Good old great aunt Vera doing all kinds of writing to her mother and her father. My pile fell. And let's see here. More old glitter and uh, and no uh, Ignis and there's a letter so we're keeping that because I definitely feel like I'm gonna need to start separating some of my folders already because they're getting super full. 1975. The Sundstroms again. Sundstroms, you don't give up me anything, so I can't keep you. And that's gonna go into the family box. And I'm going to keep on trucking along. We have McTory. Uh, 
pink letter. Uh, let's see. That's a card with some stuff in it. This is a letter from my grandma. This is, um, dear mom, dad, and boys. Well, well, mom, you were right. You did send them hooded peemen up here, but they better be careful. There is a 3000 award out there for them. They cut up the cattle while they're, are, while they're, they are still alive. They are after bulls here in Kindred. Um, will that, will that enough, well that's enough of that. Richard has the gout in his thumb now. He had it a week before he went to see the doctor. Then he found out he has high blood pressure. Um, so in December he has to have a checkup. The doctor wants to find out why the gout come back. He's been taking pills for it and more letter from grandma, which will be read at a later date. And they wrote math on this card. This, this thing. Alright. Plop it in. And let's see. Um, 1977. There is a card. Oh. Um, so this is both a letter and a picture, so I'm going to, um, keep them kind of together for now, um, so that I can kind of still track the context of it for now. So I'm going to plop it in the inside, right here, plop it on the top, um, 1976. I can tell right now that there's writing. So much writing. So uh, that is going to play on my cute pile over here. That I'm going to have to do a lot of work with. I found fluff. Fluff goes in the trash. Uh, 1976. Let's see if there's anything important here. Christmas greetings. There is a card from Bob and Evelyn. Crax, I think. Plop that in here. Close it up. Place it down. Thumbs. Only a turn. Uh, the Hendersons wrote nothing, so let's make it on that family box. Um, but it's not going to get kept because there's no letter. And I already have so much stuff I'm keeping that we don't have to keep everything. We can't keep everything or we'll never have room for stuff. New stuff. Uh, candles. These are card. There's a letter in here from Edna, Joyce, and Lars. Plop that back in. Place it there. That is just a letter. Plop it on top. Uh, we have a receipt. So that's going to be put in my receipt pile. And we have a, another card from my grandma. Oh, there's a painting. Who did this? Mom did. Tinker um, took her metal kit, medical kit out and Lester um, and Lester to well, listen to Sticky's stomach and says she had two babies for her to play with. I told Tinker I hope Sneaky don't have any babies. And I think Mom wrote or painted a little thing. That's cute. And then there's a card. It says, I love you, Grandma. Oh, get well. I love you, Grandma. It is wrong. I said a prayed 
for you, love, Alan. Oh, that's cute. And then there's a card with a letter. That's super sweet and cute. Put that here. Plop it in here. And then put it to the side. And we have Lawrence. It says answered. So there's a letter in here. Cool. And I find it interesting that my grandma writes, my great grandma wrote, I answered this letter. So Miss Florence Easton or Ayers, if you have the letter that goes after this one, that would be cool if we would chat if you end up ever watching this YouTube video or this live stream back up. Uh, 1977, Frecknerberg. I'm not even going to dare to open it because I can tell there's a letter in there. And we have a, another card. It's a tree. Santa sideways. And his hat on the top. Uh, the thunder sends again. Not keeping your stuff because you don't write anything. So I'm going to plop that in here. Close it. Put it away. A Dakota Drugs thing, so I'm going to put that in a pile. And I know I have separate Dakota drug stuff. I'm going to clear out the dust. I have so much dust happening right now. Um, Lawrence, there's a letter. Popping it down. And this is just a earnest crack. Uh, an address. I'm gonna put it in the family stuff. I don't think I'm gonna keep it. It's not too special. Um, and with that, I think I'm gonna be done going through stuff for today. So I'm gonna put the box on my lid.